You are watching a master at work. Messing around, calling all you freaks and nerds. You're just missing what you want. My brother's going down the drain. My sister's living the dream. But everybody's singing along. It's okay, we'll all soon be gone. What's going on, guys? This is part two of the Frankfurt Adventure. In this video, I speak to Creality, E3D, Snapmaker, and Prezitech. This video today is sponsored by PCBWay.com. Now, if you're new around here, PCBWay are one of my main channel sponsors, and this allows me to make the kind of content that I like. But what do they do, and why is this relevant? Well, as well as being awesome at PCB manufacturers, they are also able to print the things that you might not be able to in materials you'd like to. That includes nylon peak, ASA on the hot side, and metal 3D printing on the SLM side. Check them out now, PCBWay.com. So here we are with William and Fred from Creality. This absolute beast is the CR. M4. It's a 450 by 450 by 470 industrial FDM printer. Guys, I'm super impressed with this. Big linear rails, Ethernet connection. Yeah. This seems to be the print farmer's dream right now. Um, can you tell me anything? What, what's made Creality going back into this direction? We've had the CR10, the S4, the S5, big printers that you've made before. Mm -hmm. What's made you go back into this kind of large 3D printing arena? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. uh, Fred is right. Uh, actually, uh, before we have this 10X1 and also we have a 10 uh, uh, CR6 Max, this kind of a big printer. Yeah. And then we see that there is uh, still some good, uh, some audience that really like this kind of a big printer. So eventually that uh, even though we have some of the small printer, that uh, we still think that it's good that we can launch something is a bigger sign to meet the demands of these people. It can bring, you know, like a semi-industry level already, you are very adaptable for a lot of like uh, printing form and also that you can also print different type of material. Yep. Yeah. Yep, so, okay. so on the side here we've got an Ethernet connection, you've got a proprietary system here which is your camera system here as well. Yeah. Um, this is all going to fit into the Creality ecosystem, isn't it? This is this is all you're, you guys are gearing up to be Creality centric, so to speak, um, and your users tend to stick with you, I believe. So, what's next for Creality? Where where do you go next? Where's the future for you guys? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 就是应用性的一些更好的应用体验给到大家和那个像我们这一款的话就是像这个成因平台它打印尺寸更大像我们这个平台的话一样可以很容易把模型给取下来同时这个触摸屏的话它实际上以前是选更多是选扭屏像我
uh, basically, we try to provide options for people. We are not like uh, uh, you know uh, force people to choose you know everything from from creativity. But uh, we believe that the um, the beauty of uh, 3D printing it is still open source. So we providing the printer, we providing our scanner, and also we providing our uh, you know laser engraver as well as the camera etc. But we meaning that we can give the people a good combination and better experience by using some product we already exam and also it's more adaptable to each other. So this is the key idea about why we are launching our eco product system. And also back to the this printer M4, actually as just mentioned, uh, Fred mentioned that you know you have the this uh, hotbed and also easy to change one and also the screen. Yeah. Yeah. The, te yeah. Tem the temperature can really can getting uh, really high and also can bring uh, more material like TPU and also the screen it is uh, you know touch screen rather than the good one uh, besides that you know for the using this uh, you know RJ45 you know it mean this one can people can go to internet and also if you have uh, several the creative printer at home that you can have a group control meaning you can just simply do one PC that to control together is the several of your printer so this is the key concept we are trying out trying to do yeah as I say, this is, this is very much a CR10 on steroids, is what I would call this. This is beefed up, even the belts are bigger, yeah. big beefy linear rails, direct drive, uh, huge great supports down here as well. Um, this thing, I think you guys are going to do very well with this product. This is um, certainly seeing it for the very first time. I heard rumours about it, then I saw it more recently online, uh, and uh, Creality and I have been talking about this for a little while now, so it's very, very exciting times. Well done, guys. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank All you. the best. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So to be completely honest, I wasn't expecting the Chinese with the interpretation there because he obviously understood what I was saying, bizarrely. So a bit of a surprise interview today with Dan from E3D. Um, Dan, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. You, thank you guys are everywhere. Everywhere I've been, and I, you know, I like to feel that I'm getting out and about at the moment. Yeah, Germany, America twice. You guys are all over the place right now marketing your new products. So can you tell me a little bit about your new product ranges and what the future holds for E3D? Okay, so we're very much on the road of expanding the Rebo uh, yep. roadmap. Yep. Uh, Obsidian is what we're pushing out. Yeah, we got it there. Brilliant. Um, yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, it's our abrasive resistant nozzle. Uh, it's copper inside, a pressed steel tip, uh, and then it's DLC coated. Right. Um, which makes it excellent at wear resistance, but also has an inherent like reduced stick property to it. Um, so it, yeah, helps prevent plastic buildup on there. Fabulous, fabulous. So the BQ Hurricane is the new cutting edge printer that's just been released. I've just done a review on it. It's gone very, very well. But I have just noticed they're doing an upgrade path using your Revo system. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, that's really exciting. We've worked with BQ um, to add Rapid Change Revo to their ecosystem. That means that typical users don't have to worry about the hot tightening. They can have full access to our Revo ecosystem, Brilliant. including our abrasive resistant nozzles, uh, soon to come high flow, high temperature ranges. Fabulous. I mean, it's one, it was one of those things that I noticed with that particular printer is that the Bowden setup set that they've got it on there at the moment is probably not going to be the best. And also things like not using linear rails. Uh, for a bed slinger, obviously, you want to try and get that speed. If you're running a Core XY or a Delta printer, of course, this setup is going to be, you know, the higher flow rate is obviously beneficial to that. But on a bed slinger, that's where you kind of step into difficulty. So it's really interesting that you're working with BQ, of all people, to try and generate this and kind of make this work as a, as a, col a collaboration between two businesses. From the start with Revo, um, we were wanting to in introduce this open cold side system um, to enable us to work with partners like uh, BQ. That they approached us and said, we're interested, and we were like, absolutely. It's fabulous. Yeah. Because you guys work with a ton of different manufacturers as well, Prusa, Losbot, Creality, all those different kind of guys. So, you know, from a, from a structural point of view and from an ecosystem point of view, your system is very adaptable to multiple, multiple companies, really. Yes. Yeah, and that's what we want to do. We want to make it as easy as possible for whatever machine you've got, just increase the usability. Fabulous. Take, take your nozzles in, put them back in. Small things, 
want small nozzles. So yeah, switch in a 0.25 or a 0.15 to do like tiny detailed things, and yeah. then. I mean, the system's super easy. The whole yeah. point of it is just being able to singularly take out a nozzle and replace it whenever you need to. So I've got one of these systems. I'm going to be installing that on the BQ Hurricane. That's going to be coming up in a future video. So make sure you catch that very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Top man. Dan really is a great guy there, and he did allow us to walk away with the Revo Voron and the Revo Mini, and BQ have also sent me their direct drive solution, so hopefully we're going to be able to cobble something together and make a really awesome machine, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Another awesome guy is my buddy Ziggy from Snapmaker. Check this one out. I'm with Snapmaker, Jiju. 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 I'm with Jiju. Of course I am. And this is the J1. This is the J1 IDEX printer. Now... You guys have come over from China, oh, yes. all the way from China. Oh, yeah. You're on new, you're on new <laughs> import into Germany today. Oh, yeah. um, it's you guys have got a bit of a story. Tell us, tell us about your story on how how you and why you're here. So uh, thank you, Sam. Uh, thank you for having us, uh, Snapmaker, uh, in your show today. Uh, so my name is Zhijie in Mandarin, Ziggy in Cantonese. So you can actually call me Ziggy. Ziggy uh, Stardust. Okay. That's my nickname. Ziggy, okay. Uh, so this is a bit of background information about myself. Uh, I joined Snapmaker in 2019. Uh, you know, back in the days, we did have uh, around 30 people. Now, I mean, because the company is growing, we've got more than 300 people, for example. And uh, I would say uh, this time, uh, you know, we came all the way from uh, China. And I think uh, we feel really excited to, to be here to see our uh, you know, business partners, to see our users, very important. And also to see a potential uh, new business opportunity. I think uh, this is actually quite important because I mean, we've been uh, absent for three years. Yeah. And I think uh, what's coming up right now uh, for the future is that you know, uh, uh, you know, everything will be uh, back to uh, normal, hopefully next year. Right. And, uh, and also uh, coming back to the key point here. Uh, so this time we did have our team here. Uh, also, we do have our colleague from UK, Josh, and uh, Sylvia, and me are coming from China. So we together we bought uh, the, our latest artisan, uh, which is currently on the pre-order, uh, you know, on the website, and also this new buddy J1. So we, what we've got here then is we've got an IDEX system. Okay, what's unique? What makes Snapmaker so unique in this marketplace right now? Right, I would say for Snapmaker, obviously, uh, you know, three in one is our entry uh, ticket to the 3D printing wall. And uh, for this uh, baby here, J1, uh, you can, uh, well, remember three things, and three things only IDEX, fast, affordable. You're very precise about that. Exactly. What would you say? I'm going to ask you this real quick question. What would you say is the most and fundamental part, the most important part of 3D printing? Uh, I think the most fundamental part for 3D printing is about people. Because, I mean, people, you, uh, we use the tool. So the key point is about the tool. It's not about the printer. It's about what you can make with the printer, uh, you know, from uh, the concept to reality. Basically, uh, I think this is the key point that we are coming up with. It's about the, you know, the freedom that uh, you can uh, design and make it real, make it in the physical world. Fabulous. What a great answer. What a great answer. So anything more we can talk about on this particular printer? What's the, what does it heat up to? What's the hot end max temperature? Uh, so going back to the, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, the um, uh, technical uh, kind of, uh, you know, latest uh, well, information, I will leave it to Sam because you know what? Uh, Sam is about to have his uh, first J1 hopefully deliver in January in UK. Sure. So if you want to uh, find out more information, stay tuned in Sam's platform. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. As he said, you know, we have got one of these coming out in January. January, February time it's coming out. So um, you know, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you very soon. Thank you so much, dude. And as it has been left to me, the Snapmaker J1 is the IDEX printer for the makers, with printing speeds of up to 350 millimeters per second, parallel printing, simultaneous use of different materials, with a print bed size of 320 by 210 by 200. Well, thank you very much to Ziggy and Snapmaker there. I'm very much looking forward to this machine arriving and doing the unboxing for you guys. Next, let's talk lasers. Okay, guys, so today I'm joined with Frederick from Prezitech. Is that, is that how we pronounce it? Yeah. Yep. That's right, yeah. And you basically have laser machines 
that print metal. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, laser optics, and this is a uh, new state of the art with the coaxial laser wire feed. So we are able now to introduce uh, metal wire into um, a laser ring shape beam, and we are able now to process laser metal deposition with the wire feed stock uh, in any direction. And this offers now a very new wide range of applications. That's insane. So uh, presumably the laser comes in here, it has a load of mirrors in here, and then we finally get to this hot end down here and we've got a line of metal that comes out. So it's a kind of a weld, but obviously you're pushing the metal into, into yeah, that. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So it's like a laser welding with a filler wire. Amazing. And basically we use uh, welding wires you can find on the market for any kind of applications. And we are just uh, stacking layers on layers based on the CAD, um, on the CAD file and we can generate... Yeah, I've just, I've just seen... So presumably um, this is aerospace... Uh, grade materials, but just for a laugh, you thought you'd print a benchy. Yeah, that's right. So here, this is just a very nice application because aluminium and laser processing is not that easy. And yeah, it's a very nice kind of application. Everybody knows we make uh, plastic printing or yep. FDM, but obviously we have a lot of examples of uh, high-end quality titanium prints here. Fantastic. Check these guys out and check this video out now of that printed benchy. Thank you very much there. Now, I have got two or three more interviews that I'm going to be bringing out, hopefully, in the next couple of days. Make sure you hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. It helps the channel out, of course. Thank you very much to all the guys that have been involved with this. Um, the Form Next event is just so great but it's also so vast. So getting around and actually getting the time to interview these people. And again, remember, they're super, super busy. They're super busy selling, et cetera, et cetera. So it was a great event. And thank you very much to everybody that's participated in this video. Thanks now. See you soon. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.